Two sisters are working to keep up a family legacy through their love for chocolate. Francis and Ginger Parks are the owners of Chocolate Chocolate. Their little shop in downtown D.C. has been serving up sweet treats for nearly 40 years. News 4's Un Yang found out the sister's story runs a lot deeper. In this little shop in downtown D.C., you'll find just about every kind of chocolate your heart desires. People always use one word to describe chocolate chocolate. Magic. Francis and Ginger Park are sisters who've run their family business for nearly 40 years. They grew up in Northern Virginia and watched the world change around them. But their love for chocolate and each other has remained constant. We didn't go into business as entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. We went into business to stay together as a family after our father died. And we wanted to do something with our mom. Mm -hmm. And we all were chocoholics before it was a word. So for us, it wasn't about making money. It was about family. And you know, when people walk in our store, they feel that. They smell the chocolate and they feel the love. Their mother passed away a few years ago, but her memory lives on in the story she passed down to her daughter. She had escaped across the border before the, the Korean War, and she had some silk that her mother had given her. And she said, only part with the silk to save your life. Well, she made it across the border, and when she got into Seoul, the war broke out and bombs were dropping everywhere. Next door, home went up in flames. Our mom had the silk and she just thought, I'm going to die. So she ran through the war-torn streets of Seoul with her silk mm -hmm. and sold it on the black market in exchange for a big burlap sack full of Hershey bars. Black market Hershey bars. Black market Hershey bars and she came back to her house, bombs dropping everywhere, and she hid under thick blankets and started eating chocolate and said, if I'm going to die, I'm going to die with chocolate on my lips. Francis and Ginger are preserving these stories by writing them down. They are both published authors who've written several award-winning books that honor their Korean heritage. I kind of have a unique history because I was born at a time when there were no other Korean Americans. To my knowledge, I never saw one from kindergarten through college, except for, well, Ginger and my other siblings. <laughs> so I kind of grew up in that world between, you know, ancient Korea and modern America. It's kind of like black and white and Kodachrome. And a, and a lot of my work reflects that. Their writing has also allowed them to explore their own Korean identity as they carry on their mother's legacy at Chocolate Chocolate. Um, once I did start seeing a lot of Koreans in the area and the shops started opening and, you know, Ann and Dale, and I just, I look at the younger people and I think, oh my God, they're so lucky. Yeah. They have no, they have some identity. They actually well, have friends and, you know, can go to each other's houses and, and actually feel what it's like to be Korean, which is something I never had.